Welcome back to the Throne 2 video. Today, we're playing Weekend League, jumping right into it. We're undefeated. I think I'm like 6-0. I've been trying to record games for a while. Just not getting many entertaining ones, to be honest. But today, we're going to be showing my entire play art. I'm going to talk through basically everything I do for a full game, just a raw game. I'm probably going to not have this type of energy. I'm probably going to be pretty calm. But um, I'm in Oakland Raiders playbook on offense and Miami Dolphins uh, playbook on defense and uh like i mentioned i'm going to be showing my play art for basically every single play for the whole game now on defense that's where it's really going to be important but like what do i have to, to hide it's july dude it's july 31st now if you are new to throne 2 you guys like what you see consider subscribing consider hitting the like button let's get after it today let's go come on buddy get, get your adjustments in let's go i want to play here we go all right you come out you try to glitch blitz me here's here's a secret here's a secret guess what you get inside zone until until my fingers fall off that's what you get get out Walter Payton, oh, 146. You know, I don't want to play against this cheese blitz crap. I don't want to play against this cheese. <laughs> now, before we get into it, I want to give a huge shout out to Manscaped for sponsoring this video. Manscaped is the first all-in-one men's brand dedicated to below the waist grooming and hygiene. And you guys who've watched my channel for any bit of time know I'm a huge fan of Manscaped's products, specifically the Perfect Package Essentials Kit. Today, I'm going to show you everything that comes in at first. Starts off, Shed Travel Bag. You get this for free when you order today. You also get a pair of Manscaped boxer briefs. I actually don't know where they are right now they're probably in the wash or something now my favorite product from manscaped you guys know it's a lawnmower 3.0 quiet stroke technology 7000 rpm motor replaceable ceramic blades uh it's cordless it has a light on it it's quiet and discreet this is an absolute must okay if you're not going to go purchase the perfect package 3.0 you need to go get a lawnmower 3.0 right now individually you can't live without this next up i mentioned it's cordless but there's a nice easy charging dock for the lawnmower 3.0 you're gonna get this crop preserver this is anti-chafing ball deodorant i say it every single time but you put deodorant on your armpits why wouldn't you put deodorant on the way smellier part of your body and then lastly you have the crop reviver this is ball toner it gives you a nice pick me up throughout the day it's nice and quick it's a little spray you need to be using this every single day this is one of their best products they have and of course i have a discount link for you guys it's linked in the description manscaped.com slash throne just type it in or click the link it'll apply a 20 percent discount at checkout you'll get free shipping you'll get the shed travel bag and the boxer briefs for free again that's manscaped.com slash throne thank you so much to manscaped for sponsoring this video and sponsoring my channel over the past few months i absolutely love your products and let's get right back into it no i actually do stress when i play 146 um you know it's when you're in shotgun dude it's it's hard man it's hard i am gonna inside zone him again you know it seems a little like i like i'm a little idiot but you just kind of got it i got a human joystick halfback hopefully this gets him out of big dime are you gonna be stubborn enough are you gonna sit in it come on let's see let's see he is just cover threeing every time though now he's gonna stay in it okay one time i'm gonna see if see what type of pressure he brings i'm a little worried he's sending off both sides we'll see okay he didn't just off the right my crosser's gonna be wide open not even gonna click on and i didn't even get inbounds i suck freaking butt at the game i'm gonna set an audible i'm gonna go flood uh cover three beater i might try for it we'll see man we'll see i might inside zone here too this is a definite inside zone down second and ten but i kind of want to pass like you know this is an inside the mind kind of esque type video like it, dude it's so hard to pass against it's so hard to pass consistently against this but we'll see i'm gonna double team that side cover three beater beautiful are you gonna run with it or not okay i'm just gonna send out my tight end i'm sending him i'm sending him hey there we go Jeez. and i drop it i was spamming the a button go tight end oh i hate delay fades they suck man okay this 100 an inside zone down i don't care what you guys say to me i'm running inside zone here i'm just worried he's gonna send like everybody and then i'm gonna be in a terrible fourth down position click down to my o-line again like a moron but while he's moving people this that that's the perfect time to run inside zones when he's all touching everybody he's gonna be caught on the d-line okay a little bit of an anticlimactic start to the game but that's fine now i'll give myself a shot here just ideeing that uh right side and slid left pick it up baby pick it up there we go so there's the delay fade i was talking about but i am getting all day basically every time he's just kind of running stock cover three sky he is running back and usering um usering my beater but um for the most part it's kind of just stock cover three sky he would have a lot more success out of big dime if he started to uh bluff which side he was sending pressure off of but i actually have to double team when they pull that linebacker off there's a possibility that they're manning up to halfback with that linebacker and the blitz will scream if they do that should be a dot that's a hard throw it's so close to end zone i just freaking agged his soul i'm so lucky i'm gonna no huddle i'm gonna no huddle flip quickly and run it into the end zone 
Yeah, that was a little too close to the end zone to be throwing that crosser. I, I, I needed to give myself more space. I'll still take it in with Walter Payton. Now's defense time. That's where I really want to show you guys what we do, though. And I'd love to fake this, but I got Tom Brady from my from my other video. I have Tom Brady as my backup QB. I didn't get an accurate kick, so I get blocked. Hmm. All right, six to two, only up four after a touchdown. It's fine. It's cool. No big deal. Long ball game. When you're playing weekend league A, you got to be built to weather the storm. When you're playing 25 games, you know, things go crazy. Let me know if you guys want to see me play the entirety of the 25 this weekend. It's been a long time. I still have no doubt I'll win 23, 24, 25 games. Um, 23 minimum, like usual. I, I don't think too much has changed, but you know, let me know. I am running a three pass rushers by the way I, I i've been messing with it i kind of like it you know you stack them abilities pass rush elite little edge threat elite the nest specialist power specialist and watch the guys go crazy they go wild man all right gun bunch good luck dude good luck let's have a good game oh he's got moss huh? that's funny i'm just gonna use with this side right here i just have that have uh the left side manned up with my safety he's not even gonna, okay he is gonna get this off there we go we scream at him now you see the glowing orange out there you just send everybody now i do want to show you guys how i defend gun munch but i don't know if this is what he's gonna run i feel like he he only did that okay so basically to start a game the way i'm gonna defend bunch something simple i'm gonna bring my safeties down on a db fire i'm gonna send five both on contains man up that half or that linebacker on the halfback uh that's directly across from him that kind of glitches him out makes it a lot harder to pick up the blitz and i'm just gonna use the middle of the field basically i'm gonna see how much he knows about bunch if i was playing someone who was I'm going to move Night Train in on his contain there. If I was playing someone who knew a bit more, like he doesn't know how to pick this up, clearly. If I was playing someone that I knew immediately had a really good bunch, say I was playing Kiv, for instance, this wouldn't be how I'd start the game off. I wouldn't be running stock defense. I'd be doing crazy stuff from the get-go. But when I'm playing someone like this online, this is kind of all I need. Like, you don't... Like, I might do something like this also, where I'll... I'll I'm shading over top, protecting sticks, so I don't get burnt. And then I'm just going to use her... Uh, Calvin Johnson here so I can lurk on a safety maybe get a little bit better of an animation that's four verts I don't think he'll have time to throw it I'm gonna swat this actually I wanted to punt um because this is perfect position for me to tell you guys about how to block punts in the in the red zone or in inside the other team's five now sorry yeah when they're inside their own five come out and squeeze block if they don't come out and put, punt tight go to this right guy right here hold down the right trigger and hold down and you can come on the left stick like oh and I'm can I block it I missed it and I got a freaking, I got a roughing the punter. He's gonna get a first down. No. Dang it, dang it, dang it. Well, I'll play defense then, that's fine. I deserve it, but you can block that at a super high rate, guys. I blocked it my last time I did it and it's it's always a touchdown. You'll just pick it up for a TD, it's sick. It's it's big time, man. Okay, he's gonna go to, to sweep. Thankfully it's Mutt. We don't have to worry too much about sweep defense. They kind of defend sweep for us. But hey, I, I, to be fair, I deserve I deserve that. Uh, I deserve that. It's fine. All right. I want to see what this guy's got. Oh, I got to move in my slot a little more. Didn't do a good job. All right. I, don't, I am telegraphing who I'm using on. I don't love doing that, but it's fine. It, clearly, he does not have a chance to block the split. So the way you'd pick this up is you got to slide away from your halfback and then double team on the um double team that outside linebacker position on the running back side then the running back will actually head over to pick up the blitzing corner but instead he's just gonna dumb out every time for long enough that uh the blitz will come in and that's kind of what you're seeing me do now i could get a little crazier and show you guys like a little bit what i do but i don't want to get super crazy this guy can't pick up a five-man blitz there's probably no reason for me to for me to do way too much more but we'll see third and 17 he's taking a long time to get this playoff Going to near close flex. Ah, interesting. You go Peppers, Garrett. And against near close flex, you can either send the crib or you can uh, or you can play coverage. I like sending the crib personally. And notice how in this offense or in this defense right here, my in, uh, my right of screen defensive end is on a contain, and I'm blitzing eight, so he can't roll out either way against this defense right here. There's basically no way he can roll out. He actually almost got out. No, he didn't actually. He didn't really didn't even get close. Notice the contain just just held him in. I I I got scared there for a second. Do I try to block it again? 
Dude, I'm going to try to block it again. I'm going to do it. He's on the one yard line again. Let me block this thing. I got to lock in. Hold up. Yes, my CPU did it for me. Ed Reed came in. Yes, let's go. Okay. Hey, it pays off. It pays off, baby. It pays off. We got the free seven. Now, I, I know we had to get another stop. But I'm also going to put RG3 in. So when this guy tries to block my PAT again, I'm just going to take this thing in. Congratulations. You blocked my PAT. I'm going to take this for two. Never mind. Not even close. Didn't even, didn't even get remotely close, but it's fine. The other, the fake holder blast, uh, Oakland doesn't have it, but the fake holder blast is way better than the QB power one. Way better. Do not run the one that's the holder power. That one's terrible. Bring this ball out. I want to, I want to decapitate you. Now, I'd love to show you guys other ways to play defense. I mean, when you have three pass rush elites, you don't need to be doing anything special. But, um, hey, he's going to come out near close flex again. That's fine. I am going to just kind of bluff a similar look to what I just had. But I'm going to run cover two, pinch dog two press. Oh, shoot. He snapped that ball so quickly. And he threw the threw it at the drag that I was covering. That's fine, though. Okay, congratulations. You get, you get the whole house sent at you again. I'm not playing coverage. Not a chance. I'm just going to send the heat. Here we go. And this is decent fullback dive defense. It's not the world's greatest, but it does a, it does a good enough job. They actually had him on a streak. I thought he'd be on a corner. He, if he gets that ball off, like on a lob, probably a TD. Now that's that's a pretty hard ball to get off. Like this blitz is going to come flying in every single time. So I'm going to play deeper though this time. I'll play a little more conservative, less aggressive with my user. I am recontaining this time. Just comes flying in. He's got no chance. He does. Get a ball off. Can I? I was trying to see if I could swerve it to get into a point where I could catch the ball inbounds. And instead, I got rack agged and he stayed in. That's kind of wild. Well, I thought he was going to. I thought he was going to run the ball there, but he's uh, he's just going to get screamed at over and over again by Night Train Lane. He's going to come off the edge every single time that running back's manned up. He has no chance. Uh, another setup you could do, this is a common one, is like a, a blitz six like this and bring down your safety, put him in like a purple and man up your user on the halfback. I'm going to come inside a little bit with my user, but that outside, the, the ISO side blitzing does a really good job of... Oh, we see, we just came screaming in. Mike Evans came in because they, for some reason, recognize the blitzer outside. They almost like take priority to that way outside corner and the slot will come in because of it. I'll do the same thing. Kind of have to move someone into right here to do it, but. And I'm gonna shade up, protect the sticks with Y and left bumper. I'm gonna bring down my safety too, why not? A Little bit risky defense. I should just play coverage right here, but we're not gonna. I think he's gonna try to roll out again. I was gonna use her, use her contain it if he did. He, did, he didn't try to, he just stepped up and uh, notice again, look who came in, it's Mike Evans. Same, same thing right there. Got a fast, a fast holder. I'll just sit back on Palomalu. Make sure he doesn't fake me. All right, 12 to five. Um, <clears throat> It's wild that we're only up seven. That's crazy. <laughs> like doesn't make sense with the way this game's gone. But um, yeah, no, he, he definitely he definitely had a dot. But oh, I was going to say Mike Evans is the one who came in. That's what I said. That's the slot that's coming in free because they're again, they're taking priority to trying to pick up that stupid um, outside corner. But there are ways to beat that. Like, you know, obviously, like if you, you can put like your wide receiver on the ISO side on a comeback and it's almost like a fade if you throw it before it breaks. Um, and that does a really good job of beating it. Cause like there's no zone out there. Like do you really have to bring down your safety? Uh, there's kind of a tell in, in that, but I, I really want to try to cover three beat this guy. We'll see. I have a feeling he's just gonna, um, I have a feeling he's just gonna, I don't know. I'm not going to try to cover three beat. I have a feeling this guy can't speak. He's just gonna use her the deep middle and not let me get over top, which is cool. Nice little downward pass lead. Nice catch by Calvin Johnson, little post flag elite. Now, I do want to show you guys a setup to a cover three beater. It's not going to be the easiest when we're facing big dime. But what you can do is call this play flood. I max prod. I would put Ingram on a delay fade. You might as well. You need a corner on the right side. And then when you're 10 yards away from the first down marker, you can smart out Julio Jones. And he does a super, super good job of uh, of getting over top. Now, 
just gonna double team that right side. We'll see if we can pick this up. He was usering on him. That is. Andy had this linebacker manned up on my tight end, so I sent out my delay fade, and it was uh, it was bagged, which stinks. But yeah, random cover two right there. He was usering on on a slot corner. I'm so confused. a laser there's no way that julius peppers gets to this ball cross specialist we're up to the 31 easy field goal range now and we're super activated right now i want to come to flood i have a feeling we're going to catch him in cover two here we'll see though yeah when he moves in the slot on that side it just basically screams at me that he's just running stock cover two trying to come off the left I feel like I missed like every read there. Maybe stuff got open. I could have thrown the streak, but it was like kind of a guess pass. I didn't, I definitely I didn't have time to make a safe read on it. I'm going to come to four verts here. I do talk often about how good four verts is in the red zone. Because you can throw it without getting a quick throw inaccurate. Double me. Dang it. I wanted to throw a double me and he, he didn't throw it anywhere near for him to have a chance at an ag. Ah, I'm an idiot. I had double me and he was single covered and I'm a moron, so that's fine. But the good thing is, I don't think this guy will gain yards on offense. If anything, he's he's gonna move farther backwards, so it'll be fine. You know, people complain about stuff like near close flex and, and I totally get it, I do. It's kind of a trash can garbage scheme. It's too easy to run, uh, doesn't require hard reads to make. It's like unpickable. We talk about how people who run it have permanent gambler. Um, they just, they don't throw picks on it, but uh-oh. That motion over actually kind of terrifies me. Yeah, he's just going to throw to the flat. The tackle. Um, <clears throat> But, like, that's your job in Madden 2 is to have defense for it. Especially when you play it so much, you got to have defense for it. You can't just com continue to complain about something that you're facing all the time. Like, you've got to figure out what works against it. And there are a bunch of things that do work against it. It's not like there's just one defense that's any bit decent against it. And we're coming flying in free. I'm going to start using timeouts. I want this ball back. I want to shout the score. That's what I want. I might go to like single back if we do, but okay. I'm gonna go to cover three cloud here and I'm gonna motion in or pull him in kinda similar to the way it would look if I was blitzing and we're gonna scream. So those pass rush elites just go wild when they're pinched right there uh, in three, four odd. And I, I have three of them. So like, they're just gonna go nuts. Now, speak, speaking of nuts, can't block this uh, this punt. Oh, by the way, I didn't say. The counter to being inside your own five on the block punt glitch, like that that coming off the opposite side, just come out and punt tight. That's all you have to do. A good thing is I'm in Oakland. If I want to have some fun, I can have some fun. And you want to know what fun is? Running stretch and dive every play. The occasional stretch alert looky. The occasional power O or, a, or power G. I actually do have fun running the ball. Like, it, it's so stress-free like it's so like I don't have to worry I just kind of call my play and just I just run like dang it okay I didn't gain I didn't gain any yards I stink at running I might be the world's worst runner I have one run that'll gash <laughs> that has a shot at gashing edge blitz if this doesn't gash it ggs I lost come on edge blitz again please so I can run I form close and just flip this power oh I don't know if I have to motion over or not though I don't think motioning over would hurt. Oh, it does, because he follows him. That might hurt it. Yeah. Can I get out? Gotta be careful of them enforcers. I'm gonna call, all right, I'm gonna spike here. So I am gonna pass the ball. We're on the 22 yard line. I'm thinking, think of a little trip set in. A little trip set in action. I gotta set an audible though. And then if I come out in tight slots, I want the running back on the wide side. So that'll put the trips on the wide side when I audible. I think the 22 yard line, I can still run counter go. I could be wrong, but I think I can. Uh oh. This is so odd. I just got to scramble. 
I'm gonna slide or spike. I can't spike. I should have just called a play. I do want to go for this. No, um, I didn't have time to audible right there. And he he choked his defense bad. I might take a delay a game here. We'll see what type of look I can get. If I think I can score though, I'm gonna go for it. His defense was awful, but I didn't have time to move anybody or to motion anybody. I figured I could just throw it up the seam right there in four verts. I, I pretty much knew that was going to get open. All right. Now, please, for the love of God, give me two points on this two-point conversion on this PA holder power. Come on, baby. Come on. See ya, Dion. Dang it. I suck. <laughs> I'm 0 for 3 on him. I was left-handed on the power, right-handed on the accuracy. I'm a versatile kicker. Versatile. I can go left-handed. I can go right. I can go both, man. I could probably do eyes closed to be honest. If I had volume, I'd be I'd be nailing them eyes closed. I feel bad to run the same defense over and over again. Ha! <laughs> Just kidding. I don't feel bad at all. Same thing. Man end up halfback, sending five against bunch. I don't gotta think. Uh, congratulations. I have three pass rush elites. They're gonna go crazy every single play. I don't gotta play defense like. I should have been running three pass rush elites earlier. I'm serious. I hate not having a lurker, but even perfect example. Something like this. Okay. Just running a nice little usual defense. Nothing crazy. He threw an out route. Never mind. I was going to say, look at how little time this guy's going to get since I have three pass rush elites. I bet they all just go bananas. This isn't the greatest shed D though, to be fair. now my safeties when you do a long animation like that one just click off your quarterback when you're doing your audibles you won't get those long animations when you when you hot route your o-line but like up deep corner oh good play mike evans um but when i see a long animation like that that's when i'm going to use it as time to bring down my safeties because you know it, it's going to take so long until he's able to snap the ball i have plenty of time to bring down both my safeties uh, a little bit into the box they mutt, they're not going to get burned over top. They're 99 speed, 99 everything. They're 90. They're they're six foot five wide receivers playing safety. Like, okay, that was odd. But let's have a nice little 70 yard drive, shall we? I am going to do tight to trips here. Let's drive. I'm definitely better in tight than I am trips, but like, I don't know. I like trips better. It's harder to defend trips in my opinion. Like, yeah, maybe I'm wrong. I said that. I don't think that's wrong. Need a good motion block though we got it i got no time i tried my hardest i didn't get a second maybe i should stay in the pocket there cover two golly roll out a little bit glitch the zone throw it to my post flag player nice little roll out corner out of tight slots you can do so much out of tight slots it's crazy and it has a good inside zone keep that in mind i could have just pounded inside zone all game for 10 yards of carry like pretty handily until he he'd figure out how to stop it which i don't know if he would he's finally going to three four odd this is this is just bad news bears i look at this immediately and i think what in the piss are you doing um are you trying to give up a touchdown we'll see though we'll see if he's trying to give up a td a little bit overthrown that was super hard i i didn't get it picked up entirely also, I caught him on the outside corner on the left side, and I was trying to get him on a on a safety right there. He can't defend this. You catch Tory Holt. I know I can throw my to my hitch the whole play, but I, I'm sitting in a clean pocket all day. I know that post is going to get open. Not the most risky thing for me to for me to wait on it. I'm going to run inside zone right here. I feel like my players are. Probably a little tired, and I get hit sticked, of course, naturally, right? Okay. Ag him. That's my ball, baby. That's my ball. I'll take a little aggressive catch, okay? You got one on me earlier. I'll take mine back. Thank you very much. That was a really bad drive. <laughs> oh, you're on dive one time. I got so lucky. I really, I really threw at him, like, over and over again. 
Ouch, dude. Ow. He's just going to deep corner. Every time he does that, he goes to deep corner. But he shouldn't be putting that in route on the field. He should be keeping the deep, deep in that beats like every coverage. Not a baby in. But cool. Next time you touch that wide receiver, my whole outside is being blitzed. He goes to sweep. It's going to be blown up. He does get the first, though. No, I'm caught on Miles Garrett. Shoot. That's so terrible. Ramsey's in a deep blue and he comes up and tackles a player to the flat for a gain of one. How miserable is this game? Like, so terrible. Game's just so terrible. Oh, nice little hard flat on the left. Cover three. Manned up halfback, the usual. Yeah, you get stock defense again. Every time I get queued on you, you find something weird. I'm blitzing my user in case I want a user contain. Oh, I'm blitzing that outside left side. See that? Just going to come screaming in now. I have one extra guy blitzing. Uh, the second I saw him click his li or the little name come up underneath that uh, outside bunch guy, that means he's uh, it means he's clicked onto him and he has a chance to motion him. And the second I saw it, I was like, nope, I'm blitzing that outside corner because uh, I don't want you to be able to roll out to that side. And we came flying in. His mesh post would have been open if he would have had better pocket. I know he's been getting screamed at all game, though. It's fair for him to be a little antsy. Protecting sticks here, of course. Motioning over this. He motioned out his halfback. That's not it, dog. Yeah, there. Yeah, he motioned the wrong guy. Let's in the left uh, corner again. If he had a deep in, he removed his deep in for a streak. If he had the deep in, it was going to be so hard to use her. Both. Like, I, I wouldn't have been able to. One of them was going to be open, the corner or the end. But he got rid of it. I don't know what he's doing there. I am going to the to the defense he's struggled with like crazy, though. He threw that a little too early. He had time to make a make an easy read. I also clicked the right stick in, and my my nearest corner in coverage went sprinting after the QB right there. That was dangerous for me. Laser. Goodness gracious, that was steaming hot. It was close, but that was steaming. Oof. Can I please convert one of these? For the love of God, man. Haha! -ha! Got him! I made him miss in the open field. It's about dang time. Inaccurate kick on oh, the worst. He's just getting screamed at over and over and over again. He doesn't have time. This is this has been a miserable experience for him, but hey, at least I get to show you guys the best blitz in Madden. The li literally the best coverage blitz in Madden. Just a five man squealer. Um, that you can mix in great coverage against. That's why I've run two, three, six instead of one, four, six for so long. Like I, I occasionally run one, four, six against certain sets, but like two, three, six is is by far, in my opinion, the better formation for Mutt. It's so good, dude. Two, three, six. Sam is crazy. I'm gonna move down my safeties a bit. I protected the six. I'm lurking on a non-lurker, too. But then again, I also have three pass rush elites. So, like, you know, trade-offs, man. It's every time he's getting shedded. Poor guy, man. Poor guy. Sorry if I'm not talking much to end this game. I've kind of just been quiet. Like, I mean, the game's over. Uh, he has really no chance of, of moving the ball for positive yards. He's trying out other stuff now, it looks like. Finally, this should have been something 
he tried a lot sooner. I know he tried near close flex for a little bit, but like. Just getting screamed at every single play. My pass rush elites are going crazy. Julius Peppers, that's your first sack on the day? Dude, you really didn't get after it. You or Reggie White, neither of you did. Wow, it was just Miles. Miles was getting wild after it today. Shout out to Miles Garrett, man. That dude's a dog, gal. Please come and go. I don't want to ruin this, ruin this. Love don't always come and go. And now the game's over. He was right in it up until that point, up until 20 seconds left, 40 seconds left. He was right in it. Anyways, if you guys did enjoy the video, if you hit the like button, that'd be greatly appreciated. If you're new to the channel, you're sub to throne one. Why aren't you sub to throne two? Click the sub button down here. I might be uploading again today later tonight and then i think i'm uploading to my main channel as well so keep an eye out for all of it guys big day today for content let me know what you guys want to see okay if you guys comment right away there's a chance that i upload tonight what you suggest anyways see you guys in the next video